Oh, wait. Come have to say to Kwon. She woke up on time and was ready 10 minutes before fever. I said I was sorry. Good morning, Wale. Good morning, Mama. Oh. Oh. Did you get a good rest after yesterday? No, not really. Weddings are always tiring. I know, but I really do enjoy them. You know, I realize that I really can't wait until... Oh, we best my aunt. That must be the kids. Oh, no, 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 Happy girl, how sweet of you. You know, I really wish more students would become more like you. Good morning. So before we start the lesson, I'd like to introduce you to our new student, Naomi. Could you please stand up, Naomi? Let's give her a warm welcome, everyone. <laughs> Naomi, could you please tell us two fun facts about yourself? Oh, are you... Ooh, Birmingham! Excuse me, is that a way to treat a guest? Sorry, Naomi. Thank you, dear. Please take a seat. So who would like to start the lesson with prayer? Abigail, please pray. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for, for everything in this world. And I pray that we learn something fruitful in this lesson and that we take it in and we grow it on it. Amen. Amen. Abigail, may the Lord bless you for your constant obedience and willingness. Now let's get started with the lesson. Now who can remind us what we covered last week? Me. Yes, tell us. Well, Miss, we discussed the love of God and read First John chapter 4, verse 9 to 10. The focus was on understanding God's love as a whole and personally. Yes, very good. But do you remember what those verses said? No, Miss, not really. That's fine. Anyone else? Abigail, tell us. First John 4, 9 to 10 says, God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world so he can take away our sins. Wow, wow, wow. Praise God. Abigail, you are just perfect. I've repeated this verse so many times. Why is it that Abigail knows her Bible, but the rest of you don't? We have run over everyone. We have to join the adults for English service. But those of you who have choir, please stay here. But before we finish, who would like to close us all out with prayer? No one? Fine, I'll pick randomly. Please pray for us, Ebenezer. Miss, but I don't know what to say. Just speak from your heart. Um... Hi, God. Um, please bless us and make us live life happy. Amen. Amen. Now, those of you who are not in choir, please follow me in a line. Guys, let's play football before Miss comes. Yes! Guys, not in here. This is the house of the Lord. Oh, fine. Hi, Abigail, right? Yeah. Are you okay? You look upset. Yeah, I'm alright. Oh, okay. Sorry. Welcome to bed, Naomi. Yeah. So, are the lessons always this short? Yeah, we just have a special service today, that's why it's short. Oh, that explains it. How old are you? 13, you? No, wait, me too. <laughs> Same here. Does it take you long to come here? No, not really. I don't live that far. Whereabouts? I don't think you would know. I live like near Tottenham House Station, like ferry. <laughs> what? I live there too. You're kidding me. Do you live in the Red Brownish houses? In Exa Alexandra House. That's like a two minute walk from my place. So wait, you're telling me we're the same age, we're in the same year group, and we live like two minutes away from each other, and we're meeting for the first time. I know, tell me about it. Wait a minute, when's your birthday? July 12th, why? My birthday's in July too! Oh my gosh! That's actually crazy. Well, please gather here, we're starting in two minutes. 
I would love to join choir, but I don't know if they let me on the spot. I'm sure we'll smell it, right? We can ask her. Miss, is it okay if Naomi joins choir? Sure, no problem. Just write her name down here so I can add you to the register. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right, everyone. Um, all right, everyone. We are going to go to another room today. This one's needed for a meeting. But before we go, let me tell you the formation for the stage. Miss, don't let me stand at the front again. I don't choose. It all comes down to your height. Then you're definitely going to be at the front. Loud it, man. All right, guys, let's settle down. As I was saying, the formation will be, I want you four to be at the front, and then you three to come. come yes, I'm at the back. This is so unfair. I'm at the front again. Miss, he's going to have the mic this time. Abby Gobble, she will also lead the congregation with prayer. Okay, guys, follow me. Let's go to the other room. Why does my life have to be like this? Abigail! Abigail! Yes, Mom? Guitar practice, Aliki, so get ready. Also, guess what? What? I told you, choir teacher, to so put you at the front with the mic, and she said yes. Uh. Oh, dear, happy Shukurina. Everybody will see you. Go on, Lena, say, on that's a big stage. Mama, Tatina! I am. It's just that. I'll practice on the key. I hate my life. <laughs> no way. Ooh, who texted? Bro! Who is it? It's just Naomi from church. Oh, anyways, you gotta say it back because mom told us to prepare the dining room. I know she told you to. Why are you lying? No, bro, she said both of us. Fine. Why are we preparing it anyway? We have guests coming. What? Guests? Who? You're going to be so happy. Just tell me who. Jamal and Ebenezer. What? How come your friends get to come but mine do? You don't even have any friends at church. What? Yes, I do. Who then? Naomi. She's my friend. That doesn't count. You met her last week. Yeah, but she's still my friend and we've been texting all week. We've been planning to go out soon. Yeah, yeah. You can ask mom. She'll probably let you anyway. True. But do you think she'll come on such short notice? You know she's just two minutes away. What? Really? How come we've never seen her around? Probably because she came from Berlin. Oh. Well, if you want her to come, you have to ask mom. Yeah. This is hard work. It's not that hard. You're just exaggerating. Pass, 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 pass! <sighs> you didn't even say it right. How do you know? <laughs> Done. How do toilet? Abigail, now for, have you said the, oh, good. Oh, mom, so you know how Nahor's friend is coming? Can I? It's a bit last minute, where do they live? It's only one and she lives two minutes away. Really? In that case, if it's okay with her mom, then it's fine by me. Thanks, I'm going to go call her right now. Hurry up, the, soon, the guests are coming soon. Hello? <laughs> Not so fast, we got to eat dinner. Please, five minutes. Sorry, Naho, I said no. Boys, take a seat at the table. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, Hi, Hi Miss. Hi, the girls. Nice to see you. You too. You know 
Give us of course. My Abby goes. She's just amazing. Okay, let's eat. Nice to meet you, Naomi. Abigail's not stop talking about you. <laughs> really? Hey, guys. Hi, Naomi. Okay, let's pray and eat. Who would like to pray for us? No one? I'll pick. Hmm. Abigail, you pray. But that said he was going to pick. Never mind. Father God, thank you for this food. Thank you for everything. And I pray that we digest the food. Amen. 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 Now, let's eat. Oh, calm down, Jamal. You mean that meat? It's really nice. You know, on Sunday, you know, on Sunday, Abigail memorized the whole verse we were learning without me even asking her. That's my Abigail. You know, she passed a grade five exam in guitar and her Guitar teacher said it was one of the best performances he had ever seen. Wow, that's so impressive. Keep it up. She has been keeping it up since the day she was born. If only Nahor can be more like her. We're done! Yeah, so fast, boys! You guys are on dishes. What, my mom? No but Nahor. You and your friends must do the dishes. Bye. See, Mum done. Naomi, Abigail, you guys clean this room. I have something to show Miss. Well, I got back from meeting to attend. See you girls. Bye, Dad. Bye. Oh, now we have to clean this. It shouldn't be too bad. We'll move this chair first. Okay. Come on, let's get this. Sure. Weird day. Okay. <laughs> you were definitely the centre of attention at the dinner table today. Oh, yeah. Abigail, are you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Oh, okay. So what do you think of us going out? Do you want to do something fun? Like a fun activity or something chilled? Like a I'm thinking something chill. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that too. Anyway, what day is it again? Well, I was thinking next Monday because I have an incident day, but I don't know about you. Yep, I have one. Great, next Monday is then. I'm so excited. Same. <laughs> what cafe is it again? I'm not sure, you know. Just one in the town centre, probably. Yeah. I think we should go to Asmarina. They have really good hambasha. Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice time. It's getting late. I have to head out. Okay, I'll tell my mom you're leaving. Sure. Oh, my phone. Mom, Naomi's leaving. Oh, wait, Naomi. It was a pleasure to have you. You're welcome anytime. Thanks, Auntie. Thank you for having me. All right, I'm going to head out now. Bye, Rita Hafte. I have to go. I do not want the boys to be late. Oh, that's fine. You could just come with me then. Why so soon? It's getting late. Their mothers are waiting. Please, Miss, five minutes. No, your mothers are waiting. Oh, five. Bye, Bye Nahal. Bye, guys. See you on Sunday. Bye, Rita Bye, Mama Zodi. Bye. 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 Here you go, sorry. Bye. Bye, Naomi. Oh. Bye, Abigail. 
Are you all leaving? Why so soon? It's getting late. Okay, goodbye everyone. Bye. 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 It's getting late. Brush your teeth and change, please. Okay. Back to back. Yes, thank you. Bye. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm putting my bonnet, I'm putting my bonnet on. My bonnet. You know, what you did at the dinner table, it was not nice. What did I do, dear? Costly praising ugly girl like that. It can have a bad effect on her and Nahal. You're talking nonsense. I've done nothing wrong. How can he say something like that? He's your son. <laughs> Nahal is simply an embarrassment and he needs to learn. Rita, how many times have you spoken about this? You need to stop using your children for your own benefit to make you look good. Do you know the effect that has on their psychology? You're talking nonsense. I'm not doing anything wrong. Please stop. Stop bad mouthing your children. Not her fine just the way he is. Do you know how much it can affect him when he constantly compared to his sister? Make him feel as if he's not enough, like he needs to change. And I'll be glad because he's pain and she's hiding on just to please you. So stop, stop. Our children are not enough. This. If you would just try to... Where? Walking. Where is it? I can help you stay out of this. And as for you, Nahor, you are grounded until you take accountability for your actions. This is unfair! What do you mean unfair? You're the one who break my vows without any remorse, and I am the unfair one. If you would just listen, I don't want to listen to anything from you. I'm going to deal with you in the morning. Why did you do anything? You saw me get in trouble! Wait, to end like that, you don't... Don't touch me, yeah, whatever! You don't, no, 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 don't touch me! You're probably too busy acting like the perfect child. You don't want mom or dad or anyone else to think anything bad about you. Do you know how hard it is to live under your shadows? No, you be known as Naho. Just Abigail's brother. Of course you don't, so don't try it like you do. You watch me getting something for something you clearly did, and now I'm grounded, and it's all your fault. I didn't mean for it to end like that. Don't talk to me. Don't ever talk to me again. I hate you. You don't know, have to overreact. It's just a buzz. My chair. Good afternoon, choir. Please quiet down and take a seat. Are you serious? Me? Guys, this practice won't take long. I know your parents are waiting for you. Miss, what time is this going to end? 1.45. Are we all going to get started then? Yes, miss. We are yes, going miss. to start with the, with the song His Name is Jesus. You can read the lyrics on the board. 
After that, I've got some exciting news for you. Is everyone ready? Yes. yes. One, two, three, and... His name is Jesus. His, His name, name is Jesus. His name is Wonderful Counselor. Almighty God. Very good. How are you guys finding the heat? It's quite high. Hmm, I'll work on making it lower. Miss, what's the news? I was just about to say that. Do any of you know Christchurch, London? I do. My family went to their conference last year. I was there too. For this year, they want us to lead their congregation into worship. Wait, oh my God. No, bro, you're with me, fam. Don't. Why are you going to be famous? Quiet, quiet. Quiet, quiet, Dan. We are going, we are going to go on a coach, and I need you to bring back these permission slips by next week. Right, some of you guys are going to are gonna stand at the front leading us with a mic. Can I do that? No, me. I've already decided who will do it. Who? I've chosen Abigail to lead us. She has impeccable behavior and never missed practice. She's simply perfect. Okay, guys, let's get started with the next verse. Miss, can I please go to the toilet? Of course, go ahead. Miss, can I go too? Okay, but be quick. <laughs> I hate my life. I just hate it. Abigail, are you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. I just got something in my eye. Come on, I can tell there's something going on. What's wrong? I'm sick and tired of being the perfect person, the example of how to live. Do you know how heavy it weighs on me? To just, to be in a... I can't bear it. I feel like I can't even breathe. Oh, Abigail. I'm so sorry. Can we speak about this tomorrow when we meet up? It's just that I'm aware that we've been out of choir for quite a while. And Miss might start wondering what we're up to. Well, not you. <laughs> Me. Yeah, sure. I guess... Just know that you're not alone. Thanks. Girls, what took you so long? Sorry, miss. It was my fault. Well, that's it for choir practice today, everyone. Make sure you bring your slips next week. <laughs> the way the I old bat bro, but he fell flat like right on his face. It was just so funny. I really enjoyed today. Yeah, same. But the way the roller coaster. Wait, oh my girl. Yeah, I can't stop thinking about what you said on Sunday, and I really think that we should speak about it. Oh yeah, sure. Firstly, I want to say I am so sorry for how much you're suffering. Back when I was in Birmingham, I went through the exact same thing. I was often known as the person who didn't make any mistakes, not do anything wrong, to always be good and make my parents happy. Parents standing around me smiling and laughing. I hated it. And though I'm still working through it, I know that there is a way out. Hebrews 10.14 for by a single offering, he has perfected for all time those who are being sanctified. When the pressure of being perfect was consuming me, God led me to this verse through one of the saints. It instantly hit me. He, God, has perfected for all time those who are being sanctified. And how did he do it? By his single offering, Jesus, namely his death on the cross. Christ has already made perfect. I don't need to act perfect when I'm already perfected. And even when I don't live according to the perfection God has given me, God is working in me to bring me into that perfection through my faith in what he has done on the cross. 
And you know what's even more beautiful than that? The purpose of God making me perfect is so that he may delight in the perfection that he has placed within me as I now live life with him and for him. I don't understand why people aren't speaking about this. Instead, they're trying so hard to keep their reputation instead of clinging on to what God has already achieved on the cross. Through his son and in his son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, happy girl. I can't thank you more. No one has ever said that to me. Me neither. But I pray that we continue to receive revelation. God is truly good. Honestly, thank you. But the way, no, no, don't even try that, Laho. Can I get something? Thank you. Do we go on? Yeah. Notebook, 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 a notebook. Give me a notebook, anything. Anything. Just need to get one thing. Good morning, class. Good morning. Good morning miss. How are we all doing? Good. Good. That's great. So, we are going to be working in groups. So, I need you all. Oh, you're my group. No, you're. In fact, no, no, no. Don't even try that. Grace. Grace, you're going to betray me like that. You're going to betray me like that. That's cool. Sorry, miss. I see how it is. You can decide your groups later. But before that, who would like to open us all with prayer? Seriously, guys? Miss, can I say something to the class first? Yes, of course. Go ahead. I wanted to share something with you all today. Something that I recently learned. I wasn't even trying to learn, but I was shown. My perfection doesn't come from the things I do. It comes from who I am in Christ Jesus. I probably can't explain in much detail yet because I don't know what my mind has filled in with this light. But I've been so pressed trying to do the best for everyone, upholding my reputation and position as the perfect person. But inside, I knew I was far from it. But his mercy, Jesus knew that I was insufficient and died for me. And he doesn't expect me to work to please others, but to please him. But the rest in what I, I do is done already because his blood has cleansed me and made me perfect as, as white as snow. He is the slain lamb, the perfect sacrifice through which has been perfected already and will forever be perfected. And the same truth is for all of you. So please, Take this in. <laughs> well, let's go have fun. There's there's drums, there's drums, there's drums. Let's Can we? Hello, hello. Can we give them?
them a round of applause, please. Thank you. Oh. And before we go, can we also give a huge round of applause to Sharon, NJ, and Evandro who have worked hard non-stop to provide this.